Companies in Bemidji are being recognized for their innovation and growth in the latest edition of Twin Cities Business Magazine. As Mel Meyer reports, business leaders are hopeful that this will help shed the small town image that many people have of Bemidji. There's the F, and then oops, I went too far. The February edition of Twin Cities Business Magazine is calling the first city on the Mississippi Bemidji 2.0. Editor-in-Chief Dale Kirshner says it's interesting to find so many business owners working towards a common vision. The vision was we can be great, we can be the best, not just a contender. It's in this spirit that the magazine devoted a 10-page spread of advertisements, profiles and stories to the businesses. Bigger draws to the area like the Sanford Center and Paul Bunyan Communications were included, but so were smaller business success stories such as Choice Therapy. The community has been super supportive of what we've done and has allowed us and give us, given us the tools to grow our business. Mary Eaton says the vibrant economic market is one of the best kept secrets in Minnesota. We've got businesses trying to draw talent from all over the world and providing products all over the world. But some are hoping others get in on the secret too. David Hangel hopes that people will find the city isn't just a tourist destination in the summer, but a great place to settle down and start a business year round. It is now a, a community that's vibrant, emerging, regional center that is a pretty authentic community. And so that's a major shift over the last 10 years that the rest of the state simply doesn't know about. The February edition of the magazine has now hit the newsstands and people can pick it up at many area stores. In Bemidji, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. The magazine will also be sent to businesses statewide reaching over 75,000 people. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.